Hello. Today we are tackling a very specific and confusing Mac error message. Have you ever tried to reset your Mac and been told, Erase Assistant is not supported on this Mac? It can be frustrating. You just want to wipe your computer, but it won't let you. In this guide, I will explain exactly why you are seeing this message and, more importantly, what to do about it. The main reason for this error is hardware. The Erase All Content and Settings feature, which uses the Erase Assistant, is designed only for newer Macs. Specifically, it works on Macs with Apple Silicon, like the M1 or M2 chips, and on Intel-based Macs that have a T2 security chip. These chips provide a special way to securely and quickly erase your data. If your Mac is a bit older, likely from before 2018, it probably doesn't have this T2 chip. Therefore, the simple Erase Assistant option is not available. It's not a bug, your Mac is just not designed to use that specific tool. But don't worry, you can still completely erase your Mac. You just need to use the traditional method through Mac OS Recovery. Here's how you do it. First, and this is the most important step, back up all your important files. Use Time Machine or copy your files to an external drive. Once your data is safe, shut down your Mac completely. Now, turn it back on and immediately press and hold the command and our keys together. Keep holding them until you see the Apple logo or a utilities window. This boots you into recovery mode. From the macOS utilities window, select Disk Utility. Inside Disk Utility, go to the View menu at the top and choose Show All Devices. This is a critical step. Now, in the sidebar, select the topmost internal drive, not the volume underneath it. It might be named something like Apple SSD. With the top-level drive selected, click the Erase button. Give it the name Macintosh HD, choose APFS for the format, and let it erase. Once it's finished, you can close Disk Utility. You will return to the main utilities window. From there, simply choose Reinstall macOS and follow the prompts. This will install a fresh, clean version of the operating system onto your newly wiped drive. Your Mac will be like new. I hope this video has helped demystify this error for you. Thank you so much for watching. If this guide was useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Your support really helps me continue making helpful tutorials. See you next time.